What's up, everybody? We got our Invincible Season 2 finale, and shit went down. There will be spoilers for the episode here in my breakdown, and with that out of the way, let's get into Episode 8. As I've done all season, we'll start with our titular character, Invincible. This episode star Mark rushing to save his family after Angstrom Levy called the end last week's episode. He gets home to save his family, only for Angstrom to start teleporting him to different dimensions, every time he gets close. He's sent to a plethora of different dimensions, but the big one that stood out to me was when we see a clear and blatant ripoff of Spider-Man fighting a ripoff of Doc Ock, and he called a uh, Prof Ock, and now I don't know if this is uh, all we'll get in terms of the Invincible Spider-Man crossover, but if it is, I, I'd rather just not have gotten it. Anyway, while sending Mark to another dimension, Angstrom has a breakdown after realizing he tried to save this Mark Grayson, but all the memories of the other Angstroms who dealt with evil Invincibles are starting to collide with his own, and it just breaks. And this was probably, honestly, this was probably my favorite scene of the entire episode. Then after a couple more dimensional trips, Mark comes back to find Angstrom broke his mom's arm, and it's a nasty break too, and that sends Mark over the breaking point. He gets Angstrom finally. And we get a huge fight that breaks out across multiple dimensions, and this was awesome. I mean, much like last season's finale fight, and even the uh, the fight on Thraxa this season with uh, Invincible and his dad, they did a great job adapting the panels and literally having them roll across your screen. That fight ends as Mark loses control and beats Angstrom to death, or he thinks he does at least for now. And if he was broken enough, uh, if he wasn't broken enough already. This sure as hell breaks him. He spends some time, you know, just trying to process everything that he'd just done before a portal opens and the Guardians of the Globe from 20 years in the future come to send him home. Right before he gets in the portal, though, the older Eve stops him and tells him she loves him and has loved him for some time, telling Mark he needs to talk to her when he gets back, whether she's going to want to hear his answer or not. Then back at home, after his mom gets uh, gets out of the hospital, she and Mark have a real nice moment. And you know, they might not have the best relationship. It might be a little dysfunctional, but I really love it. Even though, you know, I do really love Mark and Eve. I've said that's my favorite relationship in the series and the universe. Mark's bond with his mom has been at the top since I started reading the comics. Mark then goes to see Eve at the Guardian's old base and, uh, uh, sorry, at the Teen Team's old base. And this is another great moment here where he starts to, you know, talk to her and tries talking with her about their feelings, but he just can't. Killing Angstrom has all but broken Mark. All right, let's check in with the Guardians of the Globe really quick, because even though they didn't have a whole lot of screen time this episode, there were two things that do need to be addressed. First thing being Robot and Monster Girl repairing their relationship. I mean, through a lot of Rudy trying to fix her and, you know, her aging problem, There's a lot of anger and short fuses between the two, but all will be well, and this is the start of that. Then, when the Immortal gets back from a fishing trip on his vacation, he finds Duplicate in his cabin as she reveals that she'd been living through her copies because she was so sick of dying and and just scared to actually die herself that she hadn't been there. Finally, we gotta talk about our two favorite prisoners, Alan the Alien and Omni-Man. This episode saw the Viltrumite Krieg preparing Omni-Man for his execution, but it's not in the normal way. As, you know, you see, the Viltrumites, they have to be determined strong enough for death. Then, we see Alan find Nolan in prison as he uses his telepathy uh, to help him and tell him why he's there without the guards knowing, and the episode closes as we see the two start to talk and bond as Omni-Man even starts to open up to Alan about missing Mark and Debbie and really missing Debbie, his wife as we'll likely see their escape pan out next season. And so that'll do it for my breakdown of the season 2 finale for Invincible. It was a good finale, definitely could have been a little better, but I liked the action, it was really dope, I and I, I love the bond between Mark and his mom, like I said, and that was on full display this week, and I just can't wait until we really start diving into Compendium 2 next season, because it just gets better and better. But let me know what you thought of the finale down in the comments below, and make sure you have a great day. Thank you.